So if you are a fan of the Hunger Games series, you'll be delighted slash horrified to learn that it's actually happening as we speak right here in the coral reefs in Thailand. Only in this case, the tributes are a variety of reef fish that eat algae, these herbivorous fish that rove around, they move around the reef trying to find food because they're really hungry. The trouble is these guys face a variety of obstacles. And in this ecosystem, one of the biggest obstacles is one of the smallest fish. It is what we call a damselfish, which is nicknamed a farmer fish because these guys maintain farms of turf algae, which is an algae uh, variety that basically looks like turf on a football field. It's really nutritious. These guys love it. It's delicious. And they guard it intensely. They don't care how big the fish is. They'll even attack humans, which is crazy. But uh, they're basically like the Joe Pesci of the animal kingdom. Very small in stature, extreme attitude, tons of aggression. I uh, don't want to mess with them. They'll chase off fish that are 10 times their size. So uh, our tributes have to face these guys if they want to eat because they have some of the only food on the reef. Uh, and they also face predators. There are these large bodied grouper, in some cases larger than a meter that we've been seeing swimming around here that can kill and eat and want to kill and eat these fish. So to make the odds ever in their favor of survival, their best bet is to form large groups because in these large groups, they reduce their individual risk of getting attacked by one of these guarding damselfish or getting eaten by one of these massive grouper. So I guess in this scenario, I'm really sort of like the evil empire in that I'm the one who's trying to videotape all of this uh, and exploit it for the sake of science so that we can better understand how this herbivory is functioning and how it's ultimately protecting the reef from getting overgrown by algae. But this schooling behavior has posed a new challenge to our research because these fish, they're moving in these massive schools rapidly all throughout the reef ecosystem. So our previous approach of using a fixed video camera frame that we put in one spot and look down and watch the reef becomes a little less practical for capturing long periods of foraging behavior by these schools because they may just move right out once they get in. So we're going to have to start thinking outside the box about how we're going to capture some of this behavior. 